Mother Teacher channel on YouTube. Today I would like to show you how I fill out my monthly editorial calendar. So what I'd like to start off with is the three supplies that I use. Um, I have a generic notebook and this is, it's so low tech of me, but I'm not going to lie. I really just like things on paper. Um, so I keep this running list of ideas for upcoming posts to go on my blog that fit into my three blog categories. So on Wife, Mother, Teacher, I focus on the lives of working moms, living on a budget, and then setting goals. And so anytime that a new post idea comes to me or somebody sends in a question asking me to do a post about a certain activity, I add it to this list. And as you can see, it is incredibly messy. Um, some of the things have been edited and scratched out. Some of these ideas I'm very proud of. Some of them, you know, who knows if they'll ever really turn into a blog post, but it's kind of just my running log of ideas. And so I always have that in front of me when I'm filling out my editorial calendar. I also need, of course, a pencil that's sharpened with an eraser. And then this year I've been using the um, free blogging printable from Erica Made Designs that includes this calendar. And I will link that down below in the show notes. Um, it comes with a few other types of pages. I'm not as huge of a fan of the other pages included in the document, but I do really like the calendar page. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on using today. And as you can see, I'm starting off by looking at June, but July is just around the corner. So that's going to be today's challenge is to start filling out the July calendar. So I basically want to walk you through the process that I take to do that the things that I have to think about while I'm doing that and give you an idea of what a month of wife, mother, teacher, editorial calendars might look like. So first and foremost, as I look at the past month, which in this case would be June, I'm looking to see, are there any posts that I planned on doing that didn't actually get out? So in this case, I'm looking for anywhere. I do not have a check mark. So I did miss a post yesterday. Yesterday I was supposed to have finished this 14 things to cut from your budget today and I didn't get the post done. Things just got crazy. It didn't happen. So that's going to be the very first thing that I know I need to add to July because I already have the post started and that way it'll be a quick one that I can easily get up. And then I also have some upcoming posts for next week. Those aren't checked yet, but those dates haven't happened yet. So it's not a problem. I'm just going to assume that absolutely I will get those out in time. Um, so the only thing I need to move over to July so far is this first one here. And so that's going to be my very first priority. My second priority is going to be posts that are reoccurring on my blog. So every week I like to post my goals for the week and I normally try to get them up on Sundays. It doesn't always happen. As you can see, the beginning of my June did not go quite as I planned. Um, so my goals were a little bit late, but hopefully in July, I'll get back on schedule. So I'm also going to fill these into my July. So let me go ahead and stop the first segment of the video here and I'll fill those in and then I'll show you what my July looks like so far. All right. So here we are flipped forward to July and I've gone ahead and filled in the couple of posts that I told you about my 14, 14 things to cut from my budget today that did not happen in July and then my goals for each week. Once I have those standard posts fit, filled in as well as the posts that I missed from last month, I'm ready to start thinking about what new posts I'm ready to put up or ready to put into my calendar. So for that, I always like to take a look at what posts I already have started that are in draft mode on my blog at this point in time. So these are posts that you know, maybe I've written a few sentences, maybe I've, you know, typed out all of the words and I haven't done the picture yet. Just any post that I started working on and haven't finished. Those are going to be my first priority to put in because they're already underway. So they're going to be the easiest for me to complete. Um, so I'm going to fill those in next, but at the same time, I need to think about when am I going to have time in my schedule? So this requires me to look at my personal schedule to see how it fits in. So I know that I'm going to be on vacation this week in July, and then I'm going to be taking a quick mini vacation at the end of the following week. So I know without a doubt that I'm not going to have really any blogging time during these days. 
And so I have to be able to fill this in with posts that can be scheduled ahead of time. And then in that following week, I know that I really shouldn't have any major blog posts going out in these first couple of days because I'm going to need that time in order to finish up the posts before they go out later this this week here, like the 23rd through 25th. So with those considerations in mind, I'm going to go ahead and fill out my calendar a little bit more with the things that I have ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll fill those in. Okay, so here we are. I've gone ahead and filled in the posts that I have already started that will be easy for me to um, finish up, you know, in time, especially considering the vacations that I have coming up. Um, so the first thing is I have a post already going for lessons learned during crazy owl time. Uh, definitely a title in the works. Not sure if that's going to be the final title or not, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out what crazy owl time is. Um, then I have a book review for a book that I just finished reading. It was called married till Monday. It's really good. I'll go ahead and post that down below, but if you'd like my full review, you will have to wait until July. Um, I also have a post started on how garage sales let me experience the better life. So that should be interesting how Pinterest helps me organize my life. And I'm also working on a plan with me vlog and a transcript post on my actual blog website. So those are the things that I have so far. Um, I really like to aim for two or three posts in one week. So I already actually feel pretty good about how this calendar has started. Um, I have three posts in this week that ends June and starts July, three posts here, two posts, three posts, and then it's just here this last week that I need to add more. And so I could, if I wanted to just say that I'm done right now, if this was like a crazy month, like in May, um, it's the end of the school year. So I didn't want to put a ton of extra time into blogging because I knew that my life would be crazy at school, but it's July in July, except for these family vacations that I know I have coming up. Um, I'm going to have time to get some other things done. So I want to go ahead and add in at least two more blog posts in the month of July. And so what I like to do now is check my ideas list. I always want to make sure that in each month I have a decent assortment of posts that fit into the working moms category, living on a budget, and then setting goals as my three categories, my three like niche areas for my blog. And so as I take a look at this, I have... Um, organization, which for me falls under the working mom category. Um, I do have this crazy owl time, which um, that's my little secret post, but it's also going to be in the working moms category. Um, garage sales definitely fits in living on a budget. Um, married till Monday book review. I just enjoy reading. So it's kind of like a little sub niche you could say of working moms. I know that they say you should really only have one to three topics that you blog about on your blog, but I can't help it. I have some other little random things that I love and reading's one of them. So sometimes I post about books, um, the budget, I have that item. So here we are with a couple of working moms, a couple of budget. Um, this is another planning and then my weekly goals. So I actually have a pretty good rundown at this point, but I do know that I'm actually going to be celebrating my 30th birthday. The big three O is happening this July. So I know I want to add in, um, my bucket list for my 29th year of life, I need to do an update from what I posted in 2014. Um, so I need to include that. And other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy at the moment to be truthful. I'll probably hop back in like in the middle of July when I get back from vacation and I'll probably have some new post ideas that I'm feeling really passionate about at that point. And I'll come in and fill in a few more down here. Um, but at this point, I'm not going to fuss about that. I don't want to add any extra stress. It's important that when you're a working mom and you're blogging, um, you already have enough things on your plate. You really don't want to overdo it. So that's going to kind of be where I leave it off. The last thing that is worth saying is this is just a template. This is not set in stone. You don't have to fit with this a hundred percent, no matter what life happens. That's totally fine. Um, I mean, obviously you guys now know that this is my plan for July, but my average reader is not going to be watching this vlog on how I plan my blogging editorial calendar. 
And so they're not going to know that I'm planning to have this post this day. So if something happens and this post has to get moved back to Thursday or Friday, it's really just not that big of a deal. So it's really important that you don't panic and you allow yourself some grace and give yourself some time to get things done. That's probably one of the best tricks that I've learned about being a working mom is just grace and sometimes setting the bar a little bit lower than you'd like to. So that's it. That's my month of July. That's how I fill out my editorial calendar. It's been less than 15 minutes since I first started filming. So I'm pretty happy with the results. I hope you have a wonderful end of your June and start to your July. Good luck in everything that you're doing. Working moms, keep it up. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.